box. Today I am very, very excited because I just received this beautiful knife that have been uh, really anticipated for me because I bought first an uh, SR1 uh, from Lion Steel, uh, which is an awesome knife. Uh, the scale were orange and aluminum uh, and uh, with a regular red steel. And uh, there was some problem, the lock was sticky and everything. So I sent it back to Lion Steel and I actually saw with them to upgrade it uh, for uh, the SR1 uh, titanium uh, handled. And while we were at it, uh, I decided with Jenny, which is a really nice guy, to not only upgrade it on the handle, but also upgrade it on the steel. And I chose a Damascus. Uh, and also, I made a special one because this one now is not a production knife. It is, one minute, <laughs> uh, it is uh, just made for me. So they don't assemble the knife like that. Usually, you can uh, choose with the Damascus, but uh, you have to take uh, the, 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 the regular titanium, uh, great titanium. So, yeah, I said, yeah, what the heck, why not uh, doing it? Uh, like special for me and that's what they did for me. Thank you, Jen. So since I love bronze titanium Look at this Absolutely first look at the box. It's a wood box The finish is just excellent here. You have the tool for uh, the pivot here and also to unscrew uh, The clip here. We're gonna come back uh, to here. So the box is very very nice great finish this box you have it also only for the titanium uh, the sr1 titanium uh, okay so like i said i've been for uh, bronze titanium and let me tell you my friends that this bronze is bronze uh, it has a vintage look of the very very best effect not nothing like a gold bar or uh, you know a shiny um, anodized titanium i might do a video about a guy that sent me a knife that was so awful uh, with the finish this one is just absolutely perfect so let's go with the specs of this knife um, it is kind of well advertised but this finish you won't see it uh, unless another guy uh, goes to jenny and ask him to do this uh, special knife like that with the bronze titanium and chad nichols raindrop damascus uh, let me tell you my friends that I was not really into the Damascus uh, thing but Richard Nichols uh, he does such an amazing job with the, the um, with, with the Damascus uh, look here you have you have those holes this is drilled actually to, to get this pattern it's drilled and you have this but also you have those waves just around and the other side I think that the waves are even more pronounced yeah here look at that that is just just awesome waves and uh, raindrops like that falling on the water uh, it's almost poetic so uh, the shape of the blade is one of the most uh, ergonomic um, sh blade shape uh, that i know uh, you have a lot a lot of uh, place you know for cutting or slicing uh, it comes uh, tell you the truth i didn't it, it is yeah fairly fairly uh, sharpened uh, but I don't care I, I will sharpen it myself uh, later so this knife is just a beautiful knife nothing I mean you have only the good things uh, on the internet uh, about this knife I haven't seen any people talking wrong about the finish of this knife this is just just perfection perfection so again the blade uh, blade and damascus is done by chad nichols uh, then you have this handle this is really special my friends really believe me it's a piece a, a, a single piece of titanium look at that this is not a backspacer huh? it, it, it is just a piece of titanium uh, and it's prepared like that to be yeah like i said a single uh, single piece of titanium and again uh, the finish here the drilling here and uh, what can i say I, i'm just you know it, it, it's a mind-blowing knife really mind-blowing uh, i'm quite of used to 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 to, to have great knives uh, this one beats uh, any other knife that, 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 that i can get really the, the finish is 
flawless. So that's uh, a frame lock. This device I won't use. Uh, I'm sure that you all know how it works. Uh, when the knife is open like that, you make uh, you make a turn, and it locks the the, the bar, so you can't disengage it. Uh, it's pointless. This is a trademark from Lime Steel. Um, it, it, but uh, the thing is that it works also as a lock bar uh, stabilizer. So for that purpose only, uh, I kind of like it. It's kind of a hinderer uh, lock bar uh, stabil stop or stabilizer, whatever you want to call it. Um, but to turn it, uh, to me, is pointless because you will never uh, change uh, um, a folder uh, to, um, to a fixed blade. So it's pointless for me. And, and it's not even a security, so, so I, I really don't get that. Uh, steel insert. Uh, I think that they were probably one of the f the first to add those uh, stainless steel insert, and I really like that. Uh, really, do. the engagement is just perfect on this one. The other one was over sixty percent, so this one is uh, yeah, I would say twenty to thirty percent, and it's not. It's a little bit sticky to tell you the truth, but compared to the other one, and I just got it. Uh, really, I was so excited that I wanted to, to, to do the, the, the video. So this knife, you don't want to flick it open like that. You, I mean, uh, yeah, you see, you, you can do it, but you don't want to do it like that, really. This knife, I think that you want to, op to, to open it with the, the thumb like that and make a nice motion like that. Uh, it, it's, it's a huge knife, but it's almost, you know, a gentleman knife. So you don't want to, I think, uh, me, uh, at, at the very least, me, I don't want to open it and flip it like, uh, like, like, uh, like a regular knife like that. Really, this is a gentleman knife. Sorry, I was disturbed by my secretary, but uh, uh, <laughs> I let her, uh, you know, come back later. Uh, let me enjoy this beautiful movie. So it's a dual thumb stud, so that makes for an ambidextrous uh, opening blade centering is just dead centered the clip uh, you know if ever you have seen one or two of my video you know that I like small clips with a very deep carry in the pocket and that uh, just makes it for this you have this uh, glass uh, breaker here I don't know uh, what will be uh, this use for me I don't care but uh, it's always better to have uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of features than uh, less so again, you know, the, this is reversible clip. Uh, you can do it, uh, you know, uh, righty or lefty. And the tool to, uh, it's all, everything, it's not, you know, it's not torqued, nothing, but you have every tool in the box. This tool, you can uh, unscrew the clip here. And with those, uh, this part, uh, you can uh, unscrew or screw or tighten the pivot. Okay. So again, what can I say? It is just just an absolutely awesome knife uh, it is pricey uh, but strangely it's less pricey than uh, the collaboration that they did with the uh, with spider Co. for whatever reason the spider Co. the lion uh, fly spy yeah lion spy uh, it's probably uh, even more expensive than uh, than this one and now uh, I close the Damascus, but now they do uh, a, a, another new steel, uh, which is a really super steel, and I highly recommend that you check for this steel. This steel, it's a tool steel. It is stronger than the D2. It's called the Sleipner. Uh, for those of you who know this steel, it's a really really nice one, and they they came with all of the or of the, the new batch uh, with the Sleipner uh, steel. Uh, so you know. The, the Chad Nichols Damascus was so beautiful, so that uh, really I wanted, and, and I was sure that, that it would match perfectly the bronze uh, I know, uh, anod anodization. So again, check for this company. They really, really uh, believe me. They make a really awesome knife, perfect knife, and with feature that you don't find uh, that often. You see, uh, especially these handles. Uh, it's full, uh, full titanium like that, and one piece titanium. It's very, very strange. Uh, this way of uh, putting the clip all together like that. Uh, uh, a, a lot of features that are very, very special. Uh, and it's, I know, it's, uh, it comes from overseas, but uh, it's very classy. And uh, Maniago, the, 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 the place in Italy where they operate, where you have the Lion Steel, which is the, the best brand there, uh, and also Fox Knives, uh, which are just starting to, to, to discover. 
uh, and uh, a couple of others also. Uh, they are just great knife makers. So again, support your uh, local uh, economy, that is for sure. But if ever you have the chance to buy one of those knives, uh, I mean, I, I would highly recommend that to you. So I'm going to stop here. Enjoy for the last time the overall beauty of this knife and I'll catch you for another video. Bye-bye, guys.